Hi, this is Hilal. In this video, we will learn about the Cobb Douglas production function. Now, a Cobb Douglas production function is a technological relationship between the amount of two or more inputs and the amount of output that can be produced by those inputs. Actually, it is a technical relationship between uh, the physical inputs and the physical outputs. The technical relationship between these two, we say it is a production function and since we are dealing with the Cobb Douglas production function we will see how it is represented so it is to be remembered here uh, strictly that we do not consider uh, the market value of inputs or outputs we just see the functional or technological relationship between the amounts of physical inputs and the output now how is Cobb Douglas production function represented uh, we will see it is represented as that is uh, f of l k is equal to y which is equal to a uh, times l uh, to the power alpha uh, times k to the power uh, beta this is the standard form of the Cobb Douglas production function now what are these uh, symbols represent we will see here this y stands for here y is y is the total production we can say total uh, total production total production or total output this y signifies total production or output similarly here this l stands for l is the labor input it is a, a labor input similarly this k this k uh, is actually this k is the capital input capital input input here the labor input means the number of uh, labors employed so we will write number of labors employed labors employed employed similarly uh, capital input means the amount of capital or units of capital amount of capital employed capital employed now uh, we have another variable here that is uh, sorry a parameter that is a this a is the total factor productivity so we will write this is total factor productivity total uh, factor productivity or we say this is a technology uh, technology parameter also also technology parameter so y is equal to a times l to the power alpha times k to the power beta now what are these a and b so here i will write here this alpha sorry i will write this is alpha uh, is or i will write alpha and beta uh, these are the output elasticities of labor and capital these are uh, Elast output elasticities output of uh, labor labor and capital now what does this mean 
output uh, elasticity means or it measures the percentage change in the output due to 1% change in labor or capital input. That is, uh, so we will write here what is output elasticity. Output elasticity measures output elasticity actually it measures measures the percent that is uh, the percent change in change in uh, the output the output output uh, due to uh, due to due to the percent change in percent change change in labor or capital input labor or capital input capital input so i will write it uh, to explain it i will write uh, this uh, again we have y is equal to a times l to the power alpha k to the power beta here a is the total factor productivity l is the labor amount of labor and k is the amount of capital here this a and b these are output elasticities output elasticities now what does uh, these mean output elasticities these measures the percent change in the output due to percent change in labor or capital input that means if we uh, if we have that is if we have the value of alpha if in place of alpha we have if alpha is equal to if alpha is equal to let us say alpha is equal to 0 0.6 now what does then this mean that means this implies this implies a one percent a one percent increase uh, a one percent increase in labor labor input uh, would uh, would lead to lead to uh, that means a one percent increase if we increase labor by one input oh, sorry uh, by one percent then output output uh, will grow or output will change uh, output will uh, change by that is output will change by uh, 0 0.0 point six percent that means if here alpha was 0 point six if in place of alpha we have 0 point six then it means a one percent increase in capital a one percent increase in capital uh, sorry labor input would lead to zero point uh, uh, would lead to zero point six percent uh, increase increase in output and same is true for the capital uh, sorry this beta uh, let us say if uh, beta is if the value of beta is uh, 0 0.4 let us say 0 point uh, this will mean that a one percent uh, uh, increase in capital input input would lead to would lead to lead to uh, 0 0.4 percent increase in output so 
these uh, these alpha and beta are the output elasticities of uh, the labor and capital respectively okay now we will see the returns to scale what does this mean uh, in context of cobb douglas uh, production function what is returns to scale now i will write here returns to scale if uh, alpha plus beta if the sum of these exponents is equal to 1 that means if if alpha plus beta is equal to 1 then we have the constant constant returns to scale returns to scale that means if we double both labor and capital then our output will also get doubled that means if uh, labor and capital are doubled then output will also double if uh, if alpha plus beta uh, is let us say uh, greater than one then we have increasing returns to scale that is increasing returns uh, returns to scale scale actually i forget here something the value of alpha and beta that is alpha alpha lies between 1 and uh, 0 similarly the value of beta lies between 1 and 0 that is value of alpha cannot be less than 0 or greater than 1 any value is accepted between 0 and 1 uh, uh, including the 0 and 1 also similarly the value of beta should lie between 0 and 1 inclusive inclusive of both 0 and 1 now if alpha plus beta is greater than 1 then we have increasing returns to scale that means if we double uh, if we uh, double the amount amounts of labor and capital our output will get more than doubled so there is increasing uh, returns to scale similarly if uh, alpha plus beta is less than 1 then we have obviously decreasing returns to scale uh, decreasing returns to scale returns to scale that means if we double both um, and the that is labor and capital then our output will increase but less than double okay i will give an example here to show what does this mean i will take the example of constant returns to scale and you will get these two concepts easily let us say uh, we have the value of alpha is let us say value of alpha is in our uh, cobb douglas production function let us say it is 0 0.4 and the value of beta is let us say beta is equal to 0 0.6 okay and let the value of a that is technology our total factor productivity is 2 uh, similarly let us say we have l is equal to 10 that is number of the worker uh, um, number of uh, laborers employed is 10 similarly let us assume that k which is the amount of capital employed is 15 now what will be our production function let us uh, insert these values in this production function that is our y is equal to a so i will write first a times l to the power alpha times k to the power beta now i will insert or substitute the values of all these parameters here so our a is 2 i will write here 2 
times L our L is here 10 so I will write here 10 sorry this is 10 uh, to the power alpha our alpha is 0 0.4 0 0.4 times k k is 15 I will write here 15 times beta beta is 0 0.6 so in place of b I will write 0 0.0.6 0 .0 now if we calculate this I have calculated uh, this this comes out to be this comes out to be 25 25.51 that means here y is equal to employing 10 workers and 15 uh, units of capital will give us 25 units of output now if we double both labor and capital in this uh, production function let us say uh, let us say we double both labor and capital let us say we have uh, another value for labor and capital we will uh, write all as they are that is we increase l is equal to 20 that is double of this 10 similarly k is also doubled that is in place of 15 we have 30 that is double of 15 and double of 10 and these parameters are same we don't uh, we don't uh, change them now what will be our production function in this uh, case our production function will be y is equal to 2 times in place of 10 we have 20 so i will write here 20 times uh, sorry to the power 0 0.4 uh, times our k was 15 we have doubled it became 30 so we will write 30 to the power beta is 0 0.0.6 when calculating the value of this this will come out to be you can also check this will come out to be 51.51.02 point, 51 that means uh, this very uh, uh, this very function here alpha plus beta is equal to 1 we can see here alpha plus beta is equal to 1 that is uh, alpha I will write here alpha plus beta is equal to alpha is 0 0.4 that is 0 0.4 plus 0 0.6 which is equal to 1 so this very relationship will give us the constant returns to scale that means uh, in doubling the input that is doubling uh, the input labor input and capital input will double the uh, output also here the total uh, output was 25 okay when we doubled uh, the labor input from 10 to 20 and 15 to 30 our output also doubled here we can see it was 25.51 here we have 51.02 which is the double of this 25 it is only possible when alpha plus beta is equal to 1 if alpha plus uh, if let us say if we uh, I, I will show a hypothetical example of uh, this also let us say we have uh, alpha was our alpha was let us say alpha was 0 0.4 and uh, beta was uh, 0 0.3 and our let us say labor was 3 capital was 4 a was 3 sorry I will write here 4 then our production function would have uh, looked like uh, this uh, a was 3 3 uh, times l is 3 to the power alpha 0 0.4 uh, times l was our 3 that is uh, sorry uh, 3 uh, our capital is 4 4 and beta is 0 0.3 
let us say its value when calculated i am not sure what will be the value here let us say it is uh, 20. now if we increase here if we double uh, the l and k that is if we write another we double this l that is let us say in place of uh, three labors we have six double and similarly k is our uh, four we double it it becomes eight our new production function would be uh, three times six to the power 0 0.4 times uh, eight uh, to the power uh, 0 0.3 now let us say when calculated this this will be uh, definitely less than uh, less than this uh, since we have doubled here both uh, labor and capital this would be greater than 20 but it will not get doubled so it will be let us say it is uh, uh, let us say it is 34 i have not calculated i repeat here i have not calculated i want to just give you an intuition here we have increased both um, capital labor sorry here uh, labor and capital we have doubled them but our production did not get doubled if it was 20 units it got only 34 units why because the value of alpha plus beta is equal to 0 0.4 plus 0 0.3 which is equal to 0 0.7 which is less than 1 that means doubling the labor and capital will not double the output though the output will increase but it will not get doubled it will increase but less than double similarly if the value of alpha plus beta is uh, if uh, alpha plus beta is greater than 1 let us say alpha is let us say alpha is uh, 0 0.7 beta is uh, 0 0.5 here we can see uh, alpha plus beta is alpha plus beta is uh, equal to and that is equal to 1.2 which is greater than 1 now if uh, we here if we take another example i will not take you i guess you get this if we uh, double the output if we double the inputs that is if we uh, double uh, double the inputs uh, let us say original production so i will write here original production function was uh, we get y is equal to let us say 30 now if we uh, double the uh, inputs uh, labor will get also doubled and capital also doubled then our production uh, would be more than double that is let us say it is 70 why it will be 70 because here the value of alpha plus beta is greater than one we will get increasing returns to scale here okay i have not uh, actually given the values i hope you are getting my point uh, if we uh, double in this case when alpha plus uh, beta is greater than one when we if we double uh, the inputs our output will get more than doubled let us say our production function was we get uh, the 30 units when we double the labor and capital we will get more than double that is 30 uh, that is 70 which is more than double of the 30 i hope i make myself clear in the next video we will see the mathematical interpretation of the marginal productivity of labor and capital and um, other stuff thank you